In case you hadn't figured it out by now, I'm kind of into pickleball. Like, a lot. But pickleball isn't everything in my life. What? I run when I'm not injured. I co-own a video production company, and I spend a lot of time generally just like being a huge nerd. All that to say, I have a lot going on, and I believe Conscious Mini Paddle Bag is made with the quote, person who has a lot going on, end quote, in mind. It's sleek and modern, and with the help of the external add-ons, a formidable all-day bag that also happens to be waterproof and the perfect size for pickleball paddles. Thanks to Concha for sending this bag out to review. Concha Bags was founded by Jack Oswald, a tennis guy who sure didn't like tennis bags, so he made his own. Fast forward to now, and there's a pickleball version as well. Technically, it's also a padel, other sports, but uh, whatever. The core of the bag system are the paddle slash racket bags themselves, which, at least for the paddle bag, is one large compartment to store the paddles in, with a smaller outer bits and bobs pocket. My keys and wallet go in there with deodorant and other little random stuff. That works fine. The real kicker, though, are the external additions to the pack, such as the day bag or wet dry bag, and the attachment system that lets you mate these bags to one another, attaching bags on bags on bags. Without these additions, the Concha Mini Paddle Bag is a sleek yet expensive minimalist paddle bag that does what it says and nothing else. Not super compelling in my opinion, but with the addition of the accessory bags, the functionality skyrockets, allowing for way, way, way more varied use. I chose the wet dry bag for my add-on and have taken this bag all over the place in loads of different conditions. The wet dry bag really helps me make the all-dayness of the bag reach its full potential. This little dry bag stuff sack can actually fit a ton of stuff. It's really big, like right now I've got a couple shirts, a couple hats, a pair of pants. It's way bigger than it really needs to be, and that's like good. You can use it for other stuff if you want to, but you kind of have to be aware of that when you're stuffing it back into the outer shell. The internal dry bag lets you partition off your stinky clothes from the rest of the stuff you need for the day. The construction is solid, the bag feels really tough, the zippers are chunky, and the waterproofing works very well. I've straight up stood out in the rain with this and it works fine. The straps are comfy enough, and their wideness and chest strap kind of distribute some of the weight when you're really, really loaded down. And how loaded down can you get? Well, this loaded down. It's a solid amount of stuff. And furthermore, you get it in a bag that doesn't scream sports, sports. or that isn't absolutely massive. It's really helpful for those of you who have to hit a meeting at four and then the mixer at 5.30. The bag is lacking in a few places, however. The lack of an outside water pouch or two feels pretty astonishing to me, especially for a bag designed to facilitate a sport that's played outside in the sun on a surface that practically radiates heat sometimes. Pair that with the suitcase style side handle and you have me scratching my head. It feels like a weird trade-off, something maybe taken directly from the design of the larger tennis style bags without the same considerations for pickleball or other their paddle sport needs. The bags just aren't that big, we don't need that extra side handle most of the time. There's also a small divider inside the paddle compartment, I just don't really understand what that's for. What's it dividing? To separate my thermoformed paddles from the rest of them? Timeout zone for the paddles that don't hit well? I don't, I don't know. I also think a small waist strap or an option for one to distribute load would also be great. The mini paddle bag can be mounted on the back of larger packs, and when you're stacking the larger bags or really weighing the mini paddle bag down, you run into some shoulder fatigue fairly quickly. Concha is continually updating and adding to their product lineup though, so I wouldn't be surprised to see these addressed in a future iteration of the bag. We've also got to talk about the price. This bag is primo, approaching the upper limit on what you'd spend on other paddle bags, even without the accessories. And personally, I don't think it's worth it without an accessory bag, so you're looking to spend between $200 and $250 depending on the add-ons. However, you're paying for a lot of features that don't come standard in the other larger paddle bags, mainly the waterproofing, huge if you're in a wet environment, and the fact that the bag doesn't look like a pickleball bag. I can take this bag out to a gluten-free, ethical, vegan, whole foods, organic coffee shop, do some work, and not get weird looks because I've brought some sports equipment into a gluten-free, ethical, vegan, whole foods, organic coffee shop. So should you get this bag? The answer is yes if, one, you've got some cash to spend, two, you carry around multiple paddles, like at least, at least, at least, at least three to four at a time, three, you also have to take the same bag out to do other things in your day, four, you live somewhere that has crazy changing weather. Five, you want a bag with a slightly more elevated and modern design aesthetic. 
If you fit into any three of these categories at once, I'd say the bag is a good buy right now, even better if my issues with it get addressed in a future update. I don't think this bag is for you if, one, you're only ever really carrying around one or two paddles and like two to three balls and other loose odds and ends, just get a smaller bag. Two, you're on a budget. I think that goes without saying, but uh, this isn't a cheap bag. Three, you're really only going to be using this bag to go to and from the pickleball courts and nowhere else. So in summary, here are a few more little points and just like my thoughts overall in general. All things considered, I don't think you should get the mini paddle bag without getting at least some sort of accessory to carry all your other stuff. It's expensive when you do that together, but I don't think that there's as much of a value proposition when you're using just the bag. However, combined, they're really cool. The bag's tough and I've been putting it through its paces. I also always am getting compliments on the look. The red zipper string is a nice touch. I know it's small, but I think it's kind of cool. The bag carries enough stuff and has enough options for putting even more stuff on the bag that I don't think you'll ever, you know, be at a want for usability with this bag. I don't think you'll ever feel like you're lacking in space within this bag, especially if you're using it, I think, how it's intended to be used. I'd really love a water bottle uh, thing here instead of the handle. I just don't ever use the handle. And like, this is fine, but it could just be better. I'd really love one here and then another one here and to not have the zipper go down all the way because I don't ever feel like I'm needing to unzip the entire thing. The wet dry bag on the outside is nice. I also think that the day bag or day bag XL would be really solid and would make this bag another really great all day bag option. This bag really isn't for you if you're not gonna be loading it up and taking it with you all day. So just keep that in mind. But if you are, this is a really awesome option. It also comes in black and like a wine red. So you have a few color options, but nothing crazy. It's kind of aligned with the whole minimalist thing. Again, I wish it had a waist strap, especially when I've really weighed it down. Another small little thing is that you can adjust the uh, chest strap. There's a bunch of different little places you can put it here. So that's nice. So those are my thoughts on the Concha mini paddle bag and the wet dry bag outer accessory. So I've got a link in the description of the video for my personal affiliate link for these bags. So if you wanna buy the bag, use that link and help me out a little bit too. I would appreciate it. But again, I don't think this bag is for everyone. So choose your own adventure there. I'm excited to see what this company continues to put out and you know, to kind of see where the bag goes and how it treats me down the line. But that's all for me right now. Pickleball Nick, keep it weird. I feel like it's a bit sacrilege to keep my Duras in an X40 cylinder, but I, I kind of like it. If I could get a Trader Joe's sponsorship, that would be sick. The review's over, by the way. <laughs>